Welcome back, guys. Okay. Here we go. I know my place is still going away. Just like in that update, except better than that update, because that update was very bad voiced. And there we go. This is the boss fight for World 1, so we're going to move on to World 2 after this. Yay! All of you meets Raleigh. I love how they manage to not spoil anything in the next level until it's time. Listen, Raleigh, wipe up my family and steal what's mine. Better expect company. Oh, I'm ever so sorry. How sloppy of me not to finish the job. Obviously, we should have stuffed you out as well. I remember I used to suck at all the boss fights in this game, but eh, we're good this time. Bring it on. Another awesome slide looks at this level, like in the cutscene. And then you just, you're still in the little silhouette thing going on. It's easier to stay on one thing. It's hit him when he shrinks. Hey, these will all shrink. Basically the same thing as the first one. Right? Mm -hmm. Oh, the next one is a little bit different. It'll jump, and it'll sink when he jumps on it. And you have to wait until it jumps five times, five different ones, or and then you just hit him. Now this next one is nothing at all like the others, so watch out for the middle here. Until he jumps, and then you have to avoid his tongue. Well, that was easy. That is the worst interpretation of a frog of a rooster. Raleigh's section of the Thievius Raccoonus held detailed instructions on how to perform my ancestor Ryoichi Cooper's Ninja Spire Jump. A technique he developed while sneaking into the thickly fortified castles of the Japan. Finding a way off Raleigh's boat got a little tricky with the untimely arrival of Inspector Fox. Who, failing to find me, busted Raleigh and his crew. Uh, With the storm machine out of commission, uh, boats found their way back onto the ocean, and the mystery of the Welsh Triangle faded from memory. My gang and I loafed around England for a while, enjoying the pleasant weather, and then headed back home, excited for our next heist. Although this game doesn't really have heists. I took the liberty of pinning your mission map, but we're all set to go to Mesa City. So yeah, you see there's little stuff from each level there. And we also unlocked some new cutscenes if you want to. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to show those, they're just the stuff we've already seen. <laughs> so, there's Murray again. And so begins World 2. This one sucks. It had been a while since I'd been back in the U.S. Next up, the notorious mugshot. Ruthless muscle of the English five. What he lacked in brains, he definitely made up during Facebook. Turns out he wasn't always that way. He grew up as the run of the litter. A neighborhood weakling. The only friends he could turn to were usually found on the big screen. It was there that he spotted his first gangster, and he knew instantly that that's what he wanted to be. Spent the rest of his youth working real hard to get there, fueled on his dreams of great power and respect. With enough perspiration, he realized that dream. He'd become a hard-boiled, street-brawling, tough-as-nails gangster, ensuring that he'd never be put down and pushed around again.
Oh, so he's holed up in Mesa City, huh? I've always wanted to go to that thriving American boom town. This was obviously the favorite level. And I'm pretty sure this was everyone's favorite level, so. Oh shit, you can actually go back in. Well then. Well then. Well then. If you didn't notice, the map isn't blue anymore, now it's yellow. Because yellow's awesome, bro. Here's where you climb up right there. Okay, let's actually do it right this time. And okay, not actually go back to the thing with the baby. Something's happened. Where is everyone? I don't know, but it's starting to give me the creeps. What do you say we take off? I miss all the fun. Besides, I want to try out that new move I got from Raleigh's section of Devious Raccoonus. You mean the ninja spire jump? Yeah. Do me a favor and read me the instructions again. To land us safely upon diminutive points, Liebeth lively impresses the triggering device with the round geometrical object emblazoned upon it. So jump and hit the circle button to land on narrow spots. That's a rough translation. Okay, but instead of doing that first, we're out here to kill this guy. We have no idea how important it is. Only have one health this game. can't tell this is pretty easy stuff right here. This level's pretty simple. I couldn't say the same about the bottles here, but what's with those flashing lights? The latest in high-tech security. Electronic floor sensors. Step on them and you're a goner. Nice touch. They're safe to walk on while flashing, but it also means they're about to switch to a different sector. And you'll learn eventually that that's actually a very useful piece of information right there. You can walk out of the flash. Let's get on this thing right here. This is the worst spot on the whole level. That one sucks. So now you want to go over here and get these. I think it glitches to the wall there. Let's get this one bottle here and then we'll just stop here. So thanks for watching. Let's get back there. Oh well, thanks for watching.